using cooperative learning, adding John Dewey. In these videos I'm exploring different aspects of cooperative learning. Previously I've explored the model, team building, the conceptual, structural and curriculum approaches, the five accepted critical elements of cooperative learning in physical education and ideas for using cooperative learning for the first time. I'm now going to talk about some new ideas involving John Dewey and cooperative learning. Please remember however that while these videos are scripted they are captured in one take with no editing so maybe a little rough and ready. John Dewey and cooperative learning in physical education. For a number of years I was happy to define cooperative learning in physical education. I wanted to see what it was and how others could use it. Then I wanted to look at where it was going. What could it offer to future generations of teachers and students? How did it need to evolve? In looking forwards, I needed to explore its genesis, its creation. I knew Kirk Lewin and later Ronald L Lipton and Morton Deshi were involved, and that social interdependence theory was at its core. But in exploring what I was confident with, I discovered a Jewish-shaped gap in my knowledge, which I was far from confident with. It turns out, following the trail of literature of breadcrumbs back to the origins of cooperative learning, that, had, that it has its foundations in both pragmatic philosophy, i.e. John Dewey, which I didn't know, and the developmental psychology of Kirk Lewin, which I did know. What was worrying, at least to me, was that the work of John Dewey was conspicuous by its absence. Looking back at my own work and many of the papers published in Phys Ed, I couldn't find a single reference to Dewey. He was simply missing. So, as I would always do when I want to understand John Dewey, I approached Mikhail Kovenestat and invited him to collaborate on a theoretical paper with a practical application. Following a number of conversations, we were prompted to ask what would happen if we took a more Deweyan approach to cooperative learning in physical education. The resulting year and a half of thinking, writing, teaching and questioning led us to propose that the ongoing experience of those engaged in cooperative learning should be part of their educative involvement in physical education. We suggested that teachers might want to de-emphasise de skill development, winning and losing, and or tactics and strategies, and focus instead on cooperating. We argued that we don't learn to cooperate, we learn to be cooperative to a less, lesser or greater extent. We don't have a predetermined level of cooperation, it fluctuates, and different situations and different people challenge our willingness to cooperate. If they are easy going, then we are better able to cooperate, but if they are difficult, then our patience and therefore our cooperation is tested. We concluded by wondering if physical education has been too focused on destination rather than journey, on specific activities and fixed outcomes rather than process and open mindedness. In many respects, we wanted to know if cooperative learning using Dewey and Lens changes the purpose of physical education from one that prioritises the teaching of sport, where students learn particular sporting skills, to one that prioritises education, where students learn to become better citizens. I'll pick up the different ideas we suggested over the next five videos, i.e. educative, situational, communal, directional and temporal elements, but leave you to think about the purposes of physical education. That's it for now. I hope it was worth your time. For more content, please visit my blog at www.peprn.com. Thanks very much for listening and stay safe. Cheers.